If you're coming over from a Windows PC over to a Mac, you'll probably notice something super annoying. When you double click an image to open it, it goes into preview, but then you can't use the arrow keys to scroll through the next pictures. It's very frustrating. In Windows, the photo app lets you scroll through the pictures without any problems and using any extra work. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you multiple ways to scroll through your pictures on a MacBook using the arrow keys. Let's get right into it. The easiest way to scroll through photos is to go to gallery view. So when you open up your finder folder app, click here and then go all the way to gallery. And then you can make the image bigger. Then you'll have all your pictures and then at the bottom, you'll have all the files. So here you can actually use the arrow keys and it will flip through all the images you have. This is not exactly full screen, but it still gives you a good amount of information if you would like to view all the images. Now, the downside of this is that it only works with the finder if you can't do this through your desktop. If you don't want gallery view, you can use another method called quick view. So you can click on an image and hit the space bar. Then the image will appear. Now you can try hitting the arrow keys and you'll see the images will actually move. Now this does have two downsides. One, when you go in full screen, you actually can't change the images. You can only change it when it's in this type of view. Another downside is when you do flip through the images, you have to go in the direction where it is on the folder. Once you get to the right hand side, you can't keep hitting the right. You have to actually go all the way to the left and then hit the down key to view this one. And then you can view it here and then you go up. Now this is much easier if they were all in a list then from the list, you know, you can just scroll down and view all of them. And then it also even gives you a preview for PDF files. You could also try just highlighting all the images you want to view and hit the space bar. Then you'll actually get an arrow key right here at the top. You can move, scroll left and right this way and you don't have to worry about uh, what images at the top or bottom. And then this way, you'll actually have those arrow keys here when you are in full screen mode, which is nice. It's dumb why it was never included there in the first place. All right, if you really wanna use preview to make it work, there's a trick. You have to highlight all the images you wanna see, then go to file, open. Now preview opens all the images in the sidebar and you can scroll through them with the arrow or even press down. This is nice, you can even get some details on the images if you hit the exclamation point there. Still not satisfied? You can always download a third party app like XN View, MP or Lin, which offer a Windows style photo viewer experience with smooth navigation using arrow keys and a better UI. After you download XN View MP, all you have to do on the image is right click, and then open with and find XNMP view. You'll actually get a lot more features. You'll have arrow keys to actually press and not have to worry about what image is placed horizontally, vertically, that won't matter. Then you can even zoom in the image. So it just gives you a lot more features and flexibility. Totally optional, but worth it if you're doing this often. So there you go. There are multiple ways to flip through your pictures on a MacBook. It just takes a few tweaks. If this video helped you out, make sure you drop a like. You got another Mac annoyance you want solved? Comment down below and I'll cover it in a future video. Until next time, see ya.